beer at Dominion City Brewing Company really tries to emphasize a sense of place. We're an Ottawa Valley brewery. We brew our beer for our community first and foremost, and we try to source as much of our ingredients as we can from the producers in our region. We work with an organic uh, farmer who farms uh, heirloom and land race, organic wheat and barley, you know, coming online with their own malting floor and hop farm. Um, all of that helps to make our beer tastes like the region that produced it. Josh, he approached me earlier in the spring and we sort of hit it off when people put their energy and, and you know, love and kindness and passion into a beer, you physically taste that. There's a real sense of pride to have, you know, my hops and, and grains in the Dominion City beers. We want to reconnect with that tradition that existed when you know, every town had a brewery and uh, what you were drinking was very much a statement about where you were. So my favorite Dominion City brew is the one that's in my hand at that time. I love our beers. We're going to have our Town Country Blonde, our Two Flags IPA, and our Earl Grey Marmalade Saison. Dominion City Brewing Company at its heart is really about communities. Not just of customers, but of investors and partners. It's more than just about the beer, it's gonna be about who you're with, uh, what you're doing, and the story that's, that comes from the beer. So here we are at Dominion City. This is our brewery. Doesn't look like a whole lot at the moment, but it is changing day by day in here. There's a ton of work to do. This is, uh, right now it's a mess. There's a, a ton of uh, work and effort that's still gotta go in before we open. Right now, we have all the elements we need to make a brewery. We don't want Dominion City to just be a factory though. We want you to feel warm and at home in something that harkens back to old Ottawa and old Canada, just like the Dominion City brand does. So the bottle shop and tasting bar will look like a rustic environment when you come in. We're gonna finish the bar with sunken timbers that we've pulled out of the Ottawa River. We're gonna have the walls finished with barn board, a great countertop, custom tap handles. All of that stuff will come together and create this really cool environment for you to come buy the beer, talk about the beer, and then come into the back of the brewery and see how it's actually made with ingredients that come from the local area. This is our passion because it feels really good to make something that you know other people are going to enjoy and they're going to want to share with their friends. So for us that's been the dream ever since the beginning and, and we're really close. It's almost, it's almost here. Right now I'm most excited for our first, uh, for the first time I go to a bar and get to drink one of my beers at a bar. You know, this is like the last step. I just really want it to look and feel like something cool, something awesome, so that when you come in the door, this doesn't just feel like another piece of industrial wasteland. This feels like something cool, something you want to come back to. It's daunting. It's, uh, it's scary. There's a lot of riding on this, but uh, it's also exciting at the same time. We want you to contribute because you love craft beer as much as we do. We want to give you an experience to be involved with a brewery, to get some cool rewards and return. And ultimately, it's going to be from community that this, this brewery is built. So there's all kinds of opportunity that we're excited about to bring friends, family, and total strangers who are passionate about what we're doing to get involved. So let's do this. Let's, let's make something great. Thank you.